We're going to take a look at what's inside this Dyson V7 vacuum cleaner, which is very similar to the V8. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the canister and cyclone assembly. So you pull up to the top like this, then it drops out the bottom, and then you push the red switch here on the side, and you can pull the cyclone assembly out. Then you release the dust bin, and you can pull that out. So at this point, there's not a lot left here. It's got the battery pack and the motor head. So to remove the battery pack, we remove these three screws. And remove the screw on the back here. Then the battery will slide out. The foam filter on the back can be removed by placing your thumbs on it like this, upside down, and then pushing. It's easier to do when the canister is in place. And just push kind of upwards and forwards and it'll snap right off. Now we're going to remove the electrical connections that go to the batteries using a T8 Torx again. This is a T8 Torx. I'm going to use it on the front here to remove these screws. We're going to have to remove these electrical connectors if we want to get in there. Now we're going to use smaller Torx here to push right in the center of the turbine and slowly push, slowly and carefully push out the motor assembly. It's just pressed in, held in with rubber. So it turns out that these wires are actually just like crimped in here. They're not even a crimp, just a, um, a press fit in there. And you can actually get them out like this. There we go. Get the other one out. Oops. Spread that open a little bit too much. And here we have the turbine assembly. Take these electrical connections out and the switch out. There's a torque screw down in here. And we should be able to pull these electrical connections out. Thank you. 
There we go. If you pull hard enough, it's going to come out. So this is the switch assembly with the electrical contacts going to the wires. The seal here, rubber seal that goes into the housing. And this goes to the connections on the motor PCB. This is the rubber gasket to which the turbine assembly seals off to in the housing. This rubber gasket actually has some o-ring like features integrated into it. So it's got a seal here, kind of like an o-ring on the inside that fits into this groove here in the turbine. And then on the housing side, it actually has a, an edge here, a little lip that acts as a O-ring seal there too. So it has some extra sealing features than just a rubber gasket.